Okay, this is how we finish the border. In this case, we're going to do a three by two border. And I like to think of it in three stages. The setting up stage, the basic weave stage, and the finishing stage. To set it up, we're going to bend three rods down. And we're going to give them about enough space to encourage the last ones to be able to find their way through this space. So we're going to bend them about the thickness of one of these rods above. And I'm bending them towards me, three of them. You could do all of them, and then they would all be identical. So for now, I'm just doing the three. This is my first rod, and it is going to go behind two. So I'm going to direct it behind those two to let it sit. The next one in sequence to the right is also going to go behind two. We're still in the setup phase. And then the third one will go behind two. At this point, they have done the first part of their journey. They will do another part. That consists of going in front of two. So I start with the one on the left. It will go in front of two. It will go behind one and rest here. But now this one is going to start its journey and it becomes this one's buddy. So I bend it towards me to get a nice kink in the right spot. However, it does actually start its journey going behind two, just as these three did. It goes behind and when it comes to join its buddy, they are laying side by side, not one on top, not twisted. Try to get the new one to the right of the one that has finished its journey now. Now we have our first set of pairs, so we're almost finished the setup. We need three sets of pairs to be finished the setup phase. So we need to let this one finish its journey and get his first buddy. So he goes in front of two, because he's already gone behind two. But now this is his buddy, bends towards me first to get the kink in the right place but he actually goes behind two and begins his journey and starts off as the buddy for this guy. This is the last one that needs a buddy. So he goes in front of two because he's already gone behind two from way back here. And then this one bends towards me first and then behind and forms the third pair. Now we have three pairs, one, two, three, and it's that one pair or the pair furthest to the left that we're going to concentrate on. The one that is usually on the left has finished going from behind two, in front of two, behind one, and now he's done. So he gets left behind, but the other one has only traveled behind two. So it's usually the one on the right. And it now goes in front of two, lays on top of these to keep them flat, like that, goes in and out, and then this one joins him and becomes the buddy. And from now on, we are going to work with three pairs, one, two, three. The third pair, you leave the one on the left and continue weaving with the one on the right. He now goes in front of two, Keeps those guys flat, goes in on top of them, and then gets joined by this buddy. Let me just stick it in front. Yay, I managed to keep that kink nice. Good. One pair, two pair, three pair. When you're at this stage, you're always counting to make sure you have your three pairs, and it's your third pair that you look at, you decide which one gets left behind, and which one continues by going in front of two, holding down those last pairs, flat, in, then out, and then gets joined by this one's first movement. I'm going to continue all the way till the end, and I'll show you what that looks like. Hi, right, I'm halfway through. Just thought I'd show you what this looks like. These are the ones that have been left behind. This is the one that I've just taken, goes in front of two, and down and back, bend, join. Everything goes flat. This one gets left. 
I'm going. Okay, we're coming to the end. I still have my three pairs. I still have three uprights left to bend down. I continue in the same pattern. I'm going to leave this one behind. This other continues the journey and goes in front and back. This one joins him, bending towards me first, but then going behind too. And now I have to imagine that these ones that I first turned down are uprights because then it helps me decide this one is going to go outside of two in, but then it has to go outside of this one. And that's why we left that gap so that it would fit. And this is where you have to ease everything through slowly so you don't get any bad kinks. Make sure that these ones stay flat as this one comes over. And now this one's going to join it. Still needs to bend towards me first, and then it goes behind this one and this one to lay flat next to this one. So it too needs to go through that hole. Still have my three buddies but I still have one upright. This one is the one that's continuing. This one's getting left behind. So this one goes in front of one and two, goes over top of these, goes into this gap here, and then comes back out right here. To do that sometimes you do need the help of an awl. So I will use this to make some space my rod through, ease it through gently. One, and then back out again. Now this one needs to join him, bend towards you first, then it goes behind two, and then joins his buddy. Now you have your three pairs still, and you have three gaps where there isn't an empty, or there isn't a rod coming out. And those three are the right-hand ones of each of these pairs. So again, we're going to start with the one on the left, and it's going to go outside of two, and it's going to go in here and out here. Sometimes that can happen in one pass if I use my awl like that. There we go. It is going around that from the inside to the outside, just as all the others did. And I might need to move my all over. Oh, I think that's a good gap there. This is the part that we want to look nice. So that's the part I'm going to pay attention to and hold on to, and then lay it flat to the outside. Now I still have these two to get rid of. This is the next one in sequence. It goes in here, but it comes out under two and then this last one is going to come under three. So I'll show you that two zone, it's right here. This one that's bent over plus this one. Sometimes you can make that happen in this direction. There we go. That's a nice one. And this is the one that goes in there. And this will help it follow the exact same pattern as all the others. outside, pull it snug. And then this is the remaining pair. He's going to go outside of two. So we know he's going in here, but where he comes out is at the bottom, as all of these do. So it has to go under three. We can make that gap happen like this, and then go under three, and this is the one.
flat. You can go around pulling each one tight and then you're going to snip those and then your basket's done. We didn't put a handle on this. We'll save that for another day when you can see me in person. I'm going to call this my plague basket. Keep on weaving everyone. Thank you for joining me.